2,000 years after the departure of Jesus the Christ. The prophets are back to teach the real Jews, the 12 tribes of Israel, their true nationality. This is their campaign. If thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, said that the so-called black people and you Hispanic people, God told Moses or the prophet to say that we don't hearken unto his voice, come on, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So, I know that a lot of our people are aware of the commandments of God, like today is the Sabbath day, and we have a lot of our people buying on the Sabbath day, which means, according to the Bible, all people are a cursed people. According to God's words, all people are a cursed people. This condition that we're living in is not what God has in store for us, but because He broke His commandments, we are living like this. We see our women just in inappropriate, and it, it, it become a norm to our people. You know why? Because they turn a blind eyes to sin. Because we turn a blind eye to sin, this is what happened in our community. Give me Isaiah. But chapter chapter two, verse four. This is what you got. Give me verse four. Yes, give me that. Hosea chapter four, verse two. By swearing in lying and killing and stealing and committing adultery, they break out in blood touching blood. Read it from, read it from verse uh, 1. Hosea 4 verse 1. Hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel. He said, hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel. My brother right here, Grandpa. Grandpa. Read it one more time again. Hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel. The Bible is talking to you, so called black and Hispanic. You're the children of Israel. God said you must hear the word. Come and listen to what we have to say to you. Come and listen to what God has to say to his prophets. Come on. For the Lord have a controversy with the inhabitants of the land uh -huh. because uh -huh. there is no truth, no mercy, no knowledge of God in the land. There is no truth. There is no truth in America. There is no truth in this land. According to the Bible, there is no truth in this land. Our people, they hate God's laws. Because they hate God's laws, they hate each other because they don't know that God's laws is designed for them to prosper. God's law yes. is designed for you to rule this earth. That's right. But we turn from God's law so we're at the bottom of society. Huh? If you don't love yourself and you hate yourself, why do you complain when your oppressor oppress you? Wait, wait, this one, wait, wait, wait. My brother. I'll be back. I'll be back. Where you going? Like now come right here. Let me talk to you. you Sister, how are you doing? Come forward. Come up, let me ask. Come, let me hear what you say. I want to hear what you say. Come closer. Who picture this? Um, let's read it. Well, let's read it together, all right? And you tell me, according, it's a depiction, all right? When you say this is Christ, we say it's a depiction according to the Bible, okay? So for a long time, we, we, who is it? Who they say this is right here? The world said this is. Be honest, you're from where? West Africa? Oh no, the, what did the world say? The world don't say this is it. Oh, What's your name? What's your name? El Sila. El Sila. El Sila, right? Who is this right here? Who 
Who everybody say this guy? Don't tell me you don't know. You know. No, so you don't, you don't think that's Jesus Christ? Okay. Okay, so it, it doesn't it doesn't matter what color Christ is, right? Okay. All right. Okay. Do you believe in the Bible? Okay. Um, give me Daniel chapter 10 from 1 through 5. Okay, I'm going to show you something in the Bible, okay? You, you willing to learn? You willing to hear things about the Bible and, and converse? About the Bible? You willing to learn things about the Bible? Or you think you know everything in the Bible? Okay. Okay, okay, all praise it. Okay, now you said it didn't matter what color Christ is, right? Okay. Read that. Daniel 10, verse 5. Then I lifted up my eyes and looked, and behold, a certain man clothed in linen, whose loins were girded with fine gold of you fast. So, this is our forefather, Daniel. Okay? Daniel is having a vision of who? Jesus the Christ. So he's describing everything that he's seeing in the vision, detail by detail. Why? Because it matters. If it didn't matter, he wouldn't state it. Hold on, come on. Verse 6, his body also was like the barrel, and his face... Stop. So he goes into describing somebody's body. Okay? He could have just said, oh, I saw Christ, and he said X, Y, and Z. He's going into more detail. He's going into depth. He's saying, and his body, describing the contents of his body. Come on. And his body's like what? And his body also was like the barrel. What is barrel? You know what barrel is? Can I just, um, no, no, hold on. Let me, I'm, you're going to say that after we finish this point. Okay? What is barrel? Barrel is a color. It's green. The reason why I'm saying his body is green is why? Because he had a garment on. A garment just like this right here. You understand? This is a garment. Okay? Green. Christ had a green one. Come on. And his face. Stop. If you have a garment on and he's going to describe his face, what does that say? If I have a... Say again. Yes, he's going to describe the color, but he's saying body parts like his head. Yes, it's features, but it's, it's also saying that because why? When you have a garment on, there are certain parts of your body that's exposed. The entire body is not exposed. You're going to have your arm, your leg, and your head exposed, okay? That's why it's specifying on different body parts, okay? Come on. And his face has the appearance of lightning. Why is it the appearance of lightning? Because he's in his celestial body and his face glow, okay? Come on. And his eyes as lamps of fire. Why is his eyes like lamps of fire? Because he drinks wine in moderation, okay? Just like it says in Genesis 49. Genesis 49 talks about Christ. 49 and 10 or 12, I believe, it talks about Christ drinking wine in moderation, okay? His eyes shall be red like fire, okay? Come on. And his arms and his feet. That's why it's talking about different body parts. Arms and feet because those are visible body parts, okay? And it's going to talk about the color of those body parts also. Come on. His arms and his feet like in color. Like in color. Colors in the Bible. Like, hold on. Let's finish the point. Like in color. To what? To polished brass. What is polished brass? Polished brass. Okay, what is brass? The metal. What is brass? What color is it? Yes, it looks kind of like gold. It's brown. Okay? Now, if you take anything and you put it in fire and burn it, what color is going to take? What gonna, color is going to take on? It's going to become darker. Anything you burn, becomes darker. Right. Anything you burn, it becomes darker. If you take white paper and burn it, it turns what? Right. So when it says, like what? Like in color to what? Like in color to polish brass. Polish meaning it was taken and put in a furnace, right? They burned it to what? Get the impurities out. When the impurities got taken out, they took it out and they polished it and it was shined, shining. Okay? That's what polished brass is. So that's describing the skin color of Christ. It's saying that his skin, his skin is brown and it looked like it was burnt. Okay? That's the color of Christ. And it matters because the Bible is saying it. If it matter, the Bible would not be saying it. Okay? You understand? You got that? So this is just a depiction of what the Bible says. We're not saying this is actual Christ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me correct myself, okay? I don't mean to say that the color of Christ doesn't matter. Okay. My question is, for all of us, right, why don't we like, more on, like, like, meaning or joy? Okay, I'm gonna. Okay, I'm gonna. 
I'm gonna answer your question. I'm gonna answer your question, but first I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask you a question first, okay? Because we, we all focus on pulling people in and, and pulling people, drawing people to the truth. Like, here, look, this is the truth. Like, if you know something was the truth, right, and you you have so much confidence in it and you know it to be the truth, how would your reaction be to somebody that believes the truth? Like, oh my God, come and look at this, come and look. That's what your reaction would be, right? Which explains our demeanor, because we know something that everybody else generally don't know, okay? Now, you say that, uh, why are we speaking on color, okay? The reason why we gotta speak on color is because first and foremost, if the Bible says that Christ is a black man, why was this put out there? And why do most of our people believe that? You see that? So we got to first address that. That's, that's why we got to talk about it. Also, our people, we don't believe in ourselves. We don't have no type of self-confidence. And you can see how we change the color of our hair. You got women that put the blonde hair and they try to eye contact and they try to have blood. You black as hell but with eye contacts. You understand? So this is the reason why we got to do these things, okay? This is how we really reach our people. You understand? This is how we reach our people. Now, I got a question for you. Where are you from? What part of Africa? Okay, deal with that. No, 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 I'm gonna deal with that. You're from West Africa, right? How did all people got about West Africa? How did all, all, did, all did you all get all did all people got to West Africa? What we are doing, we are to bring the true understanding and the nationality for people to identify them with the people of the book. You understand? Because we are the same people that Moses brought from Egypt. To Jerusalem, which means we are the true Jews, the Israelites according to the Bible. So how do we got to West Africa? We're gonna go to the Bible and show all your people got to West Africa, okay? Give me that to Luke. Luke 21, verse 20. And when you shall see Jerusalem compassed with armies. The armies the Bible is talking about is the Roman army. Yahweh says, pay attention. Come on, read that part again. And when you shall see Jerusalem compassed with armies, uh -huh. then know that the desolation thereof. Now when you turn the Bible around, it show you what color is written in red. We speaking right here, Christ. He say when you see Jerusalem compassed with army, then know that the desolation is nigh, meaning near. What desolation? Jerusalem will be destroyed, right? And Christ is talking to His people. All right, let's find out who those people are. Come on, read on. Then let them which are in Judea flee to the mountains. The mountains that we fled into is. Egypt, West Africa, South Africa. You understand? He said that them which are in Judea flee to the mountains, flee to other nearby countries. They fled into West Africa, South Africa, and the, the, the West Coast of Africa. You understand? Come on. And let them which are in the midst of it be brought out. I mean, let the people that are in Jerusalem, let them leave. Right? Come on. And let not them that are in the countries enter their own too. Uh -huh. For this be the days of vengeance, that all things which are written may be fulfilled. Okay, we're going to find out the thing now that was written. So why did we have to flee from Jerusalem? Give me go to Deuteronomy 28. Why did we have to flee? Because Christ said that so that the things that are written must be fulfilled. Now we're talking history right now. We're not talking religion. We, ne we don't talk religion when we speak this Bible. We speak history. Because the people of the book is our people. We are the children of the prophets. So the only thing we can do is fulfill what is prophesied here. You understand? So you want to know where you are and why you're here standing in front of me right now? It's all in the book. All right? Come on. Deuteronomy 28 verse 64. What are the things that Christ said must be fulfilled? Come on. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people uh -huh. from the one end of the earth. Go from verse 15. I want to see the reason why. Chapter 15. Come on. Bring it out. Verse 15. Deuteronomy 28 verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Remember, Christ said that all things must be fulfilled. We fled into West Africa. Right? He said, it shall come to pass if you don't hearken unto the voice of the Lord. What? The prophecy is about to fulfill. Come on. To observe to do all his commandments uh -huh. and his statutes which I command thee this day. Uh -huh. To do what? Which I command thee this day. So what did we were commanded to do right here? Read it again. To observe to do all his commandments. It says it shall come to pass if we don't walk in to do all of it to God by doing his commandments, right? Come on. To do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day. Uh -huh. that all shall come upon thee and overtake thee. No, mind you, in Jerusalem we weren't keeping the laws. So that's why the Romans came. 
curses, right? So he said, all the curses are going to come upon us and overtake us. So we're going to go through some of the curses that came upon us, all right? Give me verse 32. Verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Turn this around. When we where we came from West Africa, our people over here, turn around for me. He said, our sons and daughters was given to another people, right? You know what happened over there, Anna? What's the coast here in West Africa? Where they have the slaves and they have got a fat name again? What's the name of that place that had the slave on, on, um, on um, Liberia? Was it? Gold Coast? Mauritania and, um, and Ghana. That's where the slaves came from, right? Remember, we fled now from West, from, sorry, from Jerusalem to West Africa. And when we fled there, what has happened? We built a kingdom like Ghana. We have the Ashanti over there. We have the Ebos. That's where all people dwell. And some of us have other people down in place like um, Sierra Leone, this place, Liberia, that's Nigeria. That's where all people dwell and they, they build a kingdom. Cape Verde, yeah. You understand? So these are the, where did they fled from again? Where did we fled from and end up over there in West Africa? Where? When Christ, when Christ, when Christ said we let them depart from where? Jerusalem. Jerusalem. Understand? These people over there, are they white people? One second. Exactly. Now they will see the true men of God. We are not black men, we are the Israelites. Take care of us. Take care of us. And the children too. And the children too. Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.